We're back with the average Joes. Hopefully we're gonna get some lake trout today. It opened yesterday. Didn't get a video because it's pouring rain and we only caught one. Well, two. Only kept one. But it's me and dad today. We're on a little back lake with the trolling motor. A couple of batteries so that we don't die out here. And yeah, we're gonna troll around. Got the new downrigger set up. Hard to see right now. Hand crank downrigger. So yeah, lead core. Should do the trick. Well, there you can see better the downrigger. Not bad, electric motor going. A little look at it. Can't hardly see, but that's okay. Just going along here, 45 feet. Well, we finally got a trout. <laughs> nice one. A little bit un unorthodox. I'll show you what happened to the reel. Snapped the reel handle right off as soon as I set the hook. But yeah, nice one, maybe a pound and a half, pound and a quarter, I guess. But he's pretty, pretty gray. There's no spots on him. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's kind of neat. But good eater. Anyway, we're going to regroup and keep going. It only took two hours to get the first fish in the boat. We've had lots of bites, but. <laughs> I'll flip them in. Sorry? I'll just flip them in. Ooh, nice one for the smoker. Ooh, just a barely hook him, eh? Yeah, right on. What do you think? That's two and half an hour. Same size as the first one, right on. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Yeah, so we'll go over our setup. I got uh, this a Cabela's uh, trolling rod and then an Okuma big reel. That actually has my lead core on it. I don't know if we got it on video or not, but the first little trout we caught, I snapped my reel on my, my downrigger rod. So that's great. But, uh, so yeah, we put this on there. Now we've actually been getting a couple of fish. We got a, a, f a five inch Lucky Strike spoon on and we're trolling it about 75 to 80 feet down and uh, doing about a mile and a half to two miles per hour and yeah that's what's been hammering them they haven't really been crushing it i was just saying to dad that they're just following the spoon and how you want to get them is when they chomp on it they kind of hook themselves in the nose or in the bottom of the chin and lately they're just kind of barely getting hooked that last one was the first one that actually took it the way that he should have and got caught like got hooked the proper way but yeah if they keep quit short striking it we might limit out here and then we'll be able to head home and get some breakfast <laughs> oh, silver almost again. Yeah, a lighter colored one. Nice one. Another that one for nice the smoker. Fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful. Nice and clean out here. Mm -hmm. Oh, buddy. Can taste good. Well, that about wraps it up, guys. We uh, we end up with three trout today and a broken fishing reel. So uh, we're gonna get these trout home, clean them up and uh, get them on the old electric smoker. Uh, we'll put them in a salt brine for a few hours and then a smoker for about an hour and a half and uh, show you guys how these turn out, so stay tuned. All right, we just got back, cleaned these fish up. It's funny how the different stuff that they eat in the lake makes the uh, meat a different color. Some's more pink and some's more white. But we uh, got the brine set up. It's a one-to-one -one mix of kosher salt and brown sugar. So we're gonna let that sit for, put the fish in this for about three hours, and then it'll be going in the smoker. So, be good to go.
Yep, so we just took the fish out of the uh, salt brine, got it in the smoker, basted it with some homemade maple syrup, and it's been in here for about a half an hour already. I'm gonna let that cook for about another hour or so, and then uh, show you guys the end product. Oh yeah. So here's the finished product of the fish. Nice and caramelized. Here. Yeah, it was a pretty easy uh, recipe to do. It was just the same amount of kosher salt as brown sugar. Let it sit in that mixture for about a couple hours and then put it in the smoker. What was the temperature? 250? No, right 200. around 200. 200 for about an hour and a half or so, depending on how thick the fillets are, and then just base it every 20 30 minutes with some syrup and it just well oh, yeah. well you gotta do a taste test on camera oh yeah it's a little hot still yeah but. charlie says he wouldn't mind some yeah i don't find it hot <laughs> all right yeah it's perfect it's still a little bit moist too mm -hmm. nice i hope you guys like this stuff make sure you like comment subscribe Try the smoke trout yourself at home if you have a smoker. Stay tuned in the next one.